The following video outlines procedures for collecting varicella skin lesions and blood specimens. Skin lesions are the preferable method for laboratory confirmation of varicella. Blood specimens should be used to test for varicella immunity. There are three types of lesions you will see most often resulting from varicella zoster virus. A scabbed or crusted lesion, a maculopapular lesion, which is a lesion with a raised red bump, or a vesicular lesion, which is a blister-like or fluid-filled lesion. To collect a scab for varicella zoster virus testing, begin by gently lifting the scab from the lesion. Once the scab is collected, place it in a container such as a swab specimen tube or a plastic baggie. If there is more than one scab, place each scab individually in different containers. The most effective technique for collecting cells from a macular papular lesion or fluid from a vesicular lesion is the same, though for macular papular lesions it is a greater challenge to ensure that enough skin cells are collected. Lesions in vaccinated individuals are likely to be atypical, macular only or papular only, but obtaining specimens from papular lesions is possible using the following technique. Use the edge of a clean slide to loosen and collect skin cells or fluid from the lesion as shown here. Then, using a sterile swab, rub the lesion vigorously enough to ensure that skin cells or fluid are collected. To ensure an adequate amount of skin cells is collected, particularly with maculopapular lesions, we recommend also using the swab to wipe the skin cells off the edge of the slide used to scrape the lesion. You may also press the slide directly to the lesion to collect skin cells or fluid as shown here. This technique is especially effective for vesicles where a smudge should be visible. To ensure that skin cells or fluid are on the slide, Compare it to a clear slide under light as shown here. To collect a blood specimen for varicella immunity testing, perform a finger stick on the individual. Soak the circle on the filter paper with blood, ensuring that the circle is completely full, and check to see that blood has soaked through to the other side. Then, soak the remaining circle and again ensure that blood has soaked through both sides of the filter paper. Allow the blood to dry before packaging the filter paper. Venipuncture is also an acceptable method for blood collection. Collect at least one milliliter of blood into a serum separator vacutainer tube. Before storage or shipping, separate the serum from the cells in a centrifuge for 15 minutes. For more information on varicella zoster virus specimen collection, storage, and handling, please contact the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention at the address, telephone number, fax number, or email listed on the screen.